Hello Year 2 and welcome to our Session 4 English lesson for this week linked to the Sound Collector. Today we're going to be writing our poem after collecting all our sounds this week. I hope you've been brilliant sound collectors around your home. You're going to need your list of nouns and verbs, some paper and a pencil, or you can print off the template that I've put on our remote learning PDF. Pause here so you can get ready. I've been busy thinking about my home and some sounds that might be within my home. And I found a picture on the internet that can also help me maybe think of some nouns and some objects. So I've got my silver laptop, a glass cup, a wooden door and a sharp knife. You can see that I've added an adjective before my noun to include more detail. And then I thought of the verbs that my nouns are making. So I've got tapping, smashing, slamming and chopping. Make sure you've got your lists because they're going to help you do your writing too. Let's have a look at our success criteria for writing our poem today. We need to make sure we use capital letters at the start of each sentence for each line. We need to use verbs for our sounds, nouns for our objects. We might want to use some adjectives to describe the nouns and make it more interesting. It needs to be a new idea on a new line. And as a challenge, we can extend our lines with as and when. I'm going to model writing mine. So please keep watching and then you can have a go at writing yours. And now we're ready to write our own sound collector poem. So you might decide to do yours on lined paper like I am or you can use the PDF download from our remote learning package. And on there, you'll find that I have written the first verse and the last verse, and you can write in your own verses. I've left space for you to write three verses. I'm going to model two, and it's up to you how many you write. I'm also going to model how to complete the challenge using as and when, if you would like to. So I've got my title, The Sound Collector by Miss Whitmarsh. A stranger called this morning, dressed all in black and grey, put every sound into a bag and carried them away. I'm going to use the same pattern as Roger Mago of the verb, so it would be the verb of the noun. So we're describing the sound of the noun. The tap, tapping of the silver laptop keys. Do you remember those nouns and verbs in my plan? Of the silver laptop keys. And it's really good to keep saying your sentence or your line out loud to help you remind you what you're going to write. And um, my next line is going to be the smashing Sorry, my iPad's a little bit wobbly today. The smashing of the glass cup. The slamming. So I'm following the same pattern. So there's my verb of the, and now I need my noun, and I'm going to include an adjective to describe it. The slamming of the wooden door, the barking, there's another verb because it's describing my sound, the barking of our little pup. And there I've even extended myself a little bit further by having a rhyming alternative. So I've got cup and pup to rhyme. Why don't you try and write a verse following this pattern first, because this is the easiest. And then you can keep watching to see how to use as and when to describe even further. So now we're on to our challenge and I'm going to write another verse and I'm going to include more detail. So this time I'm only actually going to be describing the sounds of two different verbs. So my first one is going to be the sharp knife. Can you remember the verb I used to describe the noise it was making? That's right, it was chopping. So it's going to follow the same pattern. The chopping 
of the sharp knife. So I've still got to, oops, going to cross that out because I've made a mistake and write it again. The chopping of the sharp knife, so there's my adjective. This time I'm going to use as, so I'm including more detail. As the family cook dinner. And now I'm going to use when, and I'm going to do a different noun now. The laughing, so there's my sound, or oh, I wonder who it could be of. The laughing of my younger sister when, so now I'm including more detail for this sound, when we play a game of twister and there I've been sneaky and added another rhyme so I've got a rhyming couplet here because it's after each line I've got sister and twister rhyming and finally to end my poem I have written in the last verse from the sound collector to finish it off. So I've included this to make sure I've got a completed poem. Now, I've only added two verses. You might want to add more. Finally, I think my page looks a little bit boring. So I'm going to add some pictures in. So here I could draw the game of Twister and I could colour that in afterwards as well. I could draw a picture of the sharp knife. So there's the handle and there's the sharp knife there. I could draw the wooden door or maybe even the little pup just to decorate my poem to finish. This is your submitted task for this week. So don't forget to email it to your teachers for feedback. We're looking forward to reading them. Bye for now, year twos.